I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. That's how Sarah Nice was. <laughs> Uh, hello and welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. Welcome, uh, welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, if you haven't listened before, buckle up because it's going to be a wild ride. Yeah. And if you have listened before, like, you know, still buckle up because yeah, so. you know what you're in for. Yeah, you know the crack. Uh, so what is the crack this week? Uh, England and the rugby have lost, finally. Yep. Um, so they can no longer Wheels get... Done good. Can no longer get the Grand Slam. So now it is... Wheels, I think, in the yeah, lead. Wheels, in the wheels. Well, I think England's still top with a couple of bonus points. Are they? Um, as I don't far know, as I know, the table. as far as I know, Wales is still in the lead, and then England right. is second. So it's not so bad. Not so bad. So last week we didn't do one because we were do a podcast because we were tired. I couldn't speak. I oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, she just couldn't speak. And well, she could speak, but she just coughed every three words. <laughs> Um, and my voice gave out. It still kind of does that, but it's <clears throat> it's okay. I'll be fine. That's good. Um, so what did we do this week that was interesting? We went up to Belfast last night, which was okay. Exhausting. I just don't like the bus up to Belfast. Despite, like, I I don't mind it if it's during the day and I know right. Okay, so I can do this and then go shopping or whatever, and then get the bus back. Like I can get a decent walk. In between yeah, the bus, stretching the legs. But whereas yesterday it was just sort of like up for a wee meeting, where we sat down, and then went to the bus and sat down again. Yeah. Um, it which was, it was sucky. Yeah. But it's fine. We did it. Yeah. It's all good. Um, we didn't really do anything super exciting this week, really, did we? It was just sort of. It was just a normal training. week, wasn't it? Yeah. What did we do it before? Did we do anything? Nope. Nope. Did we do a training day? Was that? Oh yeah, I think that might have been in between. So in between. Did a training day again with Team Ireland triathlon stuff. Um, we ended I up didn't, being late for the swim. But... I didn't cry at the swim. It was it was okay. <laughs> I did it. I wanted to cry in the run and I think that's what made me sick. Um, ruined my lungs because cold air. Yeah. But, well you already sort of like you weren't 100% that day anyway. Yeah. But, but managed. I was the one who nearly drowned in the swim that day. Yeah. But I nearly drowned on the Thursday night before. Yeah. So we both almost drowned, but we didn't. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I am now immune to water. (laughs) Okay, right, so I want to start with this because it's something I did last night, although it only sent this morning, but I did it last night. And it's something that I never really thought about until last night. And then I was kind of like, hmm, this is a thing. I will ask people this thing. And it's something that we get asked all the time. It's what can you see? Yeah. And for us, we're used to being able to describe it. Yeah. Sort of like, like, oh, well, if I was reading a book, I would have to hold it about here. Mm. If I'm reading a sign, I would have to be about a metre or two metres away from it. Like, we're used to describing it, but no one else is. So on Snapchat, I decided to be like, yo, guys, what can you see? And this morning, I woke up to a couple of replies a lot of people just sort of took it as a joke. I was like, oh, Chloe. And I was like, no, but really. Um, I didn't actually. I just sort of left it because I was like, right, if you're not going to take me seriously, Bye. that's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> there was a couple of nice, like, decent responses. Not decent responses. I got, like, a couple of really rubbish responses. Like, I can see enough. And it's like, so can I. That doesn't help me. <laughs> and I was like, I can see, see as to. far as possible. And it's like... I can see as far as possible for me too. Um, and yeah, the other ones were just like, further than you and... <laughs> song lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Which to be fair, I wasn't expecting song ly- lyrics. I was half expecting the further than you bit, but the song lyrics wasn't expecting was pleasantly surprised. So, well, that's good. A wee, bit of we- wee bit of Westlife, but... Yeah, just... Is Westlife actually write that song? Or I, did I they just sing so. it? I think they just sang it. I Had a Dream, by the way. That's, that's the song we're talking about. I thought Cliff Richard sang it. Um, I don't know, you have a phone there. Um, but, yeah, what are you looking at? I thought I heard buzzing. Chloe heard a massive bee outside her window and now I'm paranoid about bees again. So I it's saw the massive bee too, the size of a two pound coin. So now I'm back into the season of being paranoid about buzzy things again. So winter was great. Um, <laughs> Good season. <laughs> now I'm constantly going to be living life on the edge. So, welcome back anxiety. We've literally just done like five minutes of this podcast and I already feel like I've talked for the entire time so Judith's turn to talk 
You just told your story. I know, it but story. it's Judith's turn to tell a story. <laughs> um, well, I don't really have any stories, but um, Soft Border Patrol has been pretty solid lately. Um, oh no, I was listening to the Shane Todd cast, right? So Shane Todd does. A po- I just hit the shelf that the phone is on, and so I was you, everybody mic. always does that though. They're like, "Oh, I just hit the thing," and they do it again, and it's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, she and Todd did a podcast and he was talking about um, how farmers have sticks, right? And I just, I thought this was really funny because he was talking about um, how there was a farmer and he saw him in the road and he was like, farmers always have a bit of blue pipe. Like, is it a thing? Like, do you grade from like a, a, a wooden stick to like one of those metal hooked poles and then eventually you graduate and you get your bit of blue pipe <laughs> as a farmer and I was kind of like it's actually not far from the truth <laughs> I would go blue pipe and metal crook so I don't know blue pipe is pretty solid like it's flexible and it's mm. light to carry I suppose maybe that's training you for the anyway my point is farmers carry blue pipe it is true I'm Baylor Twine I'm Baylor Twine Always. Always. Like a few Baylor Twine just has so many uses, like belts, shoelace, <laughs> gate keeping tie, gates closed. Dog lead. Hair bubbles. If you ever find a robber and you tie it up. Yeah. Holding I mean, door Baylor, closed. Baylor twine is hard to break, like. It is. It is good strong. Like it's stuff. like wee tiny threads all together and you have to slowly pick them apart. Yeah. And that really hurts. Not even pick them apart. You have to pick them apart and then you have to pull them apart or bite them apart. Yeah. And I, there's a good two or three hundred per bit of like thickness of baler twine. Yeah. Because I have tried to chew through baler twine. Why have you tried to chew through I can't it? remember, but I think it was just chewing it. I was like, yeah. You were just chewing baler twine for the crack. It was fresh baler twine. It wasn't like used. <laughs> used. Used Baylor twine. I mean, you reuse Baylor twine for years. I mean, there's Baylor twine out in the sheds. It's maybe 20 or 30 years old. <laughs> Older than us. That is incredible. I'm impressed by that. Um, we still have Christmas lights up outside. Do they do they count as Christmas lights if they're just outside? No, because they're just in the hedge. So, like, you know, See, they're yeah. summer lights. See, that's that's my opinion too. I think they're just pretty lights, but... My mum and dad keep on saying to take them down. It's kind of like, well, you can take them down. You can reach your hands in the holly. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, maybe we shouldn't have put them in the holly. There's nowhere else to put them. That is true. The holly's just sprinkled through the bush. <laughs> sprinkled through the bush. Mm. Now I'm just imagining we, like someone sprinkling holly, like, like hundreds and thousands. Yeah. I was going to say, speaking of last night, we are now... It was the, the thing last night was a meeting because we're going on a trip to South Africa. Whoop, whoop. And uh, I think me and Judith have become known as the blind twins. Again, as per usual. Um, but also the, the twins in charge of the would you rather questions. I like to think we brought the band. Yeah. Like, we brought everybody together in those thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was the thing. Um, so we had a lot of would you rathers. Um, I kind of had to think of some on the spot because suddenly it aspired that I was going to be thinking of one to ask each person and I know about four basic ones so you know I had uh, pineapples head or fish fingers for fingers would you rather only be able to cry at happy things Mm. or laugh at sad things Uh, sweat sweat gravy pop fart popcorn confused babies babies and muffins muffins. too hot or too cold Um, someone else asked would you rather have no arms or no legs I thought that was quite a good one I thought it was a fairly easy one like who would want to have no arms really I mean, um, like you professional can't. runners, people who love running a lot. They'd have to be really sure on their feet. They'd have to be like a mountain goat. I am a mountain Also, mud. how would they tie their shoes? There are ways around these things. I suppose, yeah. Uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? This is a question that people always ask. And they're like, oh, this is the most impossible question. It's like, obviously it's not. The chicken. Uh, yeah. Like, Cause the like, answer's obviously the chicken, because it's just the same question as everything, like, which came first, the snake or the egg? Like, it doesn't have to be a chicken. Like, people are always like, oh, but uh, the chicken had to come from the egg to make the egg. No, like, if if a chicken was going to be created by whatever you believe created the universe, 
whether it be atoms or things like that, it had to be... It wouldn't have closed itself in, in a, a shell. In a box. Yeah. Well, not a box, you know what I mean, like in a shell, to have to break out of it. Yeah, that's that's my theory too. Like, it's one of the most stupid questions and people make it seem like it's ridiculously yeah. hard. But we're though, thinking about stupid questions, right? See if your calculator had like a memory function. How many times did you have typed in like three plus three just to be sure? <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> How many times would you have typed in, oh, what is it? Um, five, five, three, one, eight, zero, zero, eight. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> or zero, seven, seven, three, four. Hello. Hello. Okay, yeah. Got it. Got it. That's hard. Whenever you don't have a calculator in front of yourself to try and think of it or try yeah. and translate it is good for the old brain. Good for the old brain teasers. What do they call it? Grey matter. Grey matter. Is yeah, because that... your brain's grey. Yeah. Apparently. It's good for the old grey matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I watched a video of um, David Tennant and Matt Smith on Graham Norton and this is just completely unrelated. I just meant to tell you this earlier so now we're doing it. On a podcast. On a podcast. Um, I mean, why not? That's what most po- most podcasts are, really. But, it's just... um, Matt and David, David were um, sitting on the sofa, and it was the red chair bit. Um, and this guy came on, and he looked like the spitting image of Matt Smith. And it was like, what's your name? It was Matt. You are joking! <laughs> and David Tennant's face was just legit, just utter shock. Just staring from the screen to Matt Smith, to the screen to Matt Smith. <laughs> just being like... It's, that's you. I just knocked the globe. I'm sorry. If there was an earthquake anywhere, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I noticed today, and I was like, so we were in Sunday school and we were colouring with Sharpies. We were colouring in stones for a reason because God is your rock. We're learning about the wise man, the foolish man. Don't build your rock on a sandy Don't land. build your rock. Don't build your house on a sandy land. Don't build it too near the shore. Well, it might look kind of nice, but you'll have to build it twice, so you'll have to build your house once more. You gotta build your house upon a rock. Hallelujah, you got a good foundation on a solid rock. Oh, the storms may come and go, but the truth of God you will know. Yeah. Oh, that's such a jazzy tune. I know. Anyway, yeah, the point was, uh, God is your rock, and um, yes, we were writing that on stones, and they were doing it with Sharpie, and I was like, okay guys, just remember, Sharpie doesn't come off clothes or hands, so just be real careful, and I was like, I am a beacon of truth and an example to these children, and then a wee five-year-old was like, Chloe, will you help me write this? I was like, sure, buddy, sure, and I literally wrote rock, the word rock, on a rock, and my hands, since then, have been stained blue. Because you're great and you're an example of what not to do for children. But I don't, it's one of those things that I, I didn't, I don't... I don't, I, that, always, you? that always happens to me. Anytime I use felt, felt hips, I might just open it and draw a line and then close it and my hands are instantly coloured, covered in like a rainbow of colours. Yeah. Even if I only use like a blue. Like, it's... <laughs> It's just be like none. Of, I don't think any of the other kids managed to get pen. Although Bobby, the the wee kid I helped, oh, he was giving me some amount of anxiety because <laughs> he was like he was like five. So you know the way kids just cannot keep still. They can't sit still, yeah. So he was holding the pen. The lid was off, and he was just sort of like moving his hand around. He was so close to his shirt, and he had told me at the start it was his new shirt, new tie. And I was just like Bobby, Bobby, please, Bobby, please, just keep coloring in your Bobby. Per kid. <sighs> oh. Do you think there should be an age limit on Sharpies? There should be. Do I mean, not, not only. To. I mean, like, not only that, but like, I mean, they stink. Yeah, they are bad. They smell so good. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Some of this guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> One time, I just sat and sniffed. What was it? Bleach. I think it was like lemon scented bleach, and I just sat and sniffed it. Not good, but I mean, I was twenty three at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was just like two, three, twenty-three. I was, I was twenty-three. <laughs> it was a couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. Today, it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It was in the summer. You've kind of, grown up since then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Like a whole year, like a year has passed. It's a new year, a new me. New year, new me. No more sniffing bleach. I've got really into Reddit recently. It's just, I didn't realise how great it was until recently. I just, I could just get lost in there for hours. Like, younger me used to get lost in Tumblr. Reddit is. I never better. really got Tumblr. No. I never That's why to, I never got Tumblr. I never seemed to get anywhere. Like, I liked reading screenshots of Tumblr posts and stuff on yeah. Facebook or whatever. But see, just like scrolling through Tumblr, I was like, what's what's the actual point here? There, there's never anything good. Reddit is incredible. Reddit I is advise good. everyone to get Reddit. If you're visually impaired, follow the, right, the blind subreddit thing. It's real good. Made Me Smile is a good one. It's just like puppies falling over and stuff. The Tumblr subreddit as well. Yeah. Solid. There's some if if you tweet us we can um put up a list of our favourite Reddit threads. Yeah. And you can follow those. Um Yeah. What um can can you also while you're on Twitter there, uh can you just um let us know what your favourite vines are? Old vines. Vines as in the short we generally six second videos. Com we communicate six second really not. Six, what did I say? Seven. Oh, sorry. We generally communicate with vines. Yeah, it gets to a certain stage and we're just like... <laughs> oh, we're, we've got to the vine stage of tired. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even think of any. Oh. Hey, me and my boys are going to go see Uncle Cracker. Give me a hat pack, Jordan. Do you go see Uncle Cracker or not? <gasps> I have brought you frankincense. Thank you. I have brought you mur. Thank you. Murder. <gasps> Judas. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you have some favourite vines, let us know what they are because we were going to do a recreating old vines video at some stage. Like, it can literally, like, try and keep them clean. Yeah, we're not really sweary people. Yeah. But, um, like, we have a list ourselves, but if you have any that you'd particularly like to see. Yeah. See us try and recreate. What's your profanity? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, will we do the Google game? Yes. Um, seeing as I... Then I have lots of random thoughts that I've managed to put down in my phone over the past week. <laughs> so we, we uh, the acting course that we do, we have to uh, search up our monologues and find out as much background information as we can about the character that we're going to be doing. Um, so far I have Sandra, <laughs> <laughs> which is my character's name. <laughs> and I started it four days ago. Mine is the doctor, and I'm just so tempted to like use David Tennant's doctor speech thing on the Titanic you one. You definitely should. I'm the doctor. I'm 904 years old, and I'm going to save the lives of you and every other person. <laughs> but he's he's older now. He's like a thousand and something. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's on Wikipedia. Yeah. What age is the doctor? So um, I have to give you the first two words, and you have to guess, don't I? That's, yeah. that's how this works. So what does? Is it like what does? dancing mean? What does cat dogs barking mean? No. Um, what oh does... wait, no, you were close. Hold on. What What did you say? What does dogs barking mean? Oh no, you were close. You said one of the words. <laughs> <laughs> what does dogs... What does barking mean? No. What does... You always make them really hard. I always be like, what, what elves do you use? Right, well what does the... Fox say? <laughs> yeah, that's the first one. What does the like Pledge of Allegiance say? No, but I'd actually quite like to know that. <laughs> what does the Bible say about something? No. What does the What does the Um Like you got the first one, what does the fox say? There's two others that are like songs. ridiculously similar to that. What does the dog say? Yep. What does the cat say? Yep. And now the rest of them are just what does something. What does... Well, one is the negative of does. What doesn't work with my phone? No. What doesn't see past my nose? What doesn't work? No. What doesn't see? Um, it was... I said it earlier whenever I was talking about swimming. What doesn't breathe? No. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't work in water? No. <laughs> What does I it was cry? Like, I'm immune to water now. So what did I say before that? What doesn't work in water? <laughs> no, I, I said that I'm immune to water now because what doesn't 
what doesn't breathe? No, because what? I didn't die. So what doesn't live? <laughs> what doesn't die? What doesn't? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you? You're trying to help me, but you're not. <laughs> I wasn't killed. <laughs> How am I supposed to get? I was pretty much there with the dead bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what's the thing? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> yes. Um, the last one, I don't know if you're gonna get, but um it's yeah, well you can you can guess, I'll give you I'll just give you like the hint. So it's what does someone look like? Who do you think it is? What does Donald Trump look like? No. What does Boris so Johnson look like? It's so <laughs> um uh, it's someone that you don't normally see, like their face. What does God look like? No. What does Jesus? No. Um. A, he's. What does he do? He's like a musician, but it's like electronic or like. What does marshmallow DJ? look yeah. like? Yeah. Well, like a marshmallow, like a smiling marshmallow. I think it's sort of. Give us a tweet if you think this is too hard. Whenever <laughs> Judith does it, because I actually make like nearly a full sentence whenever I'm doing it, and Judith doesn't. She picks <laughs> two words, and then let's Google do the rest. You're gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> Have you got another one? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> one of them is so good though. Who am I? Oh yeah, that's the second one actually. <laughs> Who are you? No. Who is Google? No. Who is the president? It's close. Who is the prime minister? Who is the king? No, go back to president. <laughs> Who is? Who is he's, he's the president in charge of? Who is America? Who is America? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably someone's name, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not capitalized though, so I don't know. <clears throat> Who is Kylie Jenner? There's an obvious one that's a song. Who am I? Yeah, no, but like a a secular song. <laughs> Who let the dogs <laughs> out? Yeah. Who? It's a question that you ask your friend all the time. Well, not even your friend, like your cousins or whatever. Just who? Was that? No. <laughs> <laughs> who does that? Who do you? Who do you fancy? Yeah, well, who do you love? So yeah, you know. And then the final one is a TV show. Who do you think you are? No, oh. I don't even know what this TV show is. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> I know that show. Uh, um. Um, is it? No, who is it that presents it? It's not the chase. No, because that doesn't that make doesn't a <laughs> But it's like, it's one of those game shows that's like all purple and black in the background. <laughs> Who dares wins? Yeah, that one. What's it about? Is that not the one that Dale Winton used to present? Is it? I haven't got a clue. I don't know, I don't watch those shows. I sometimes watch The Chase and I'm like, ha! Glad I'm not doing that because I'm going get every single one wrong! Yeah. I try to be confident whenever I answer the questions, but I'm really not. <laughs> You're like, B! Or the answer was C. I was confident. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, so have you been studying hard for this, um, for, for coming on Mastermind? Uh, no, I'm just gonna try and say the answers as confidently as I can and try and convince them that I am right and they're wrong. Does he have, like, all the answers in front? Obviously he has all the answers in front of him, he's not gonna Google them as he asks the question. <laughs> I've started so I'll finish, um, just tap it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I did mean that one, not that one. Um, yeah, do you want to hear some of my random thoughts during the week? Yeah, please. Um, one of them is space spaceships. Space, space, space. <laughs> space suits literally protect people from nothing. Because there's nothing in space. Yeah, but is that not the point? There's like a vacuum, so you'd be sucked out of your skeleton. You'd actually explode, but... Would you... I know that in a black hole, it would look as if you're just staying in the one place and then just fade out. But really, you're being stretched like spaghetti. Yeah. Also, you know what else I found out? It was kind of mind-blowing. You know the way, like, light years works? That, like, we're looking out at the stars, but the stars we're looking at could be dead for, like, millions of years. Yeah. If there's a spaceship up there, like, millions of light years away, they could be looking at Earth and just seeing dinosaurs. Hold on, what? No. But, like, a spaceship that we send out? or No, 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 like, like an alien spaceship. That's unreal. Yeah. 
Bro, dinosaurs. <gasps> Speaking of dinosaurs, I had another one. No, 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 but can we go back to the black hole thing? Why? Like, if I was looking at you in a black hole, uh -huh. you would just be sort of floating there. Yeah. Like, would you be dead? Or Yeah, I'd be dead. Like, even if you were in a spacesuit? Pretty sure. Like, would the, like, why? Because your matter, is it not one of your, in a black hole, that, like, matter just separates? So you just, like, get deconstructed? Yeah, that's why I would fade. How long would it take? I don't know. Like, would I be staring at you for millions of years? I don't know, because, like, I don't think anyone's actually been sucked into a black hole before. <laughs> we should do that. Like, <laughs> just, I don't mean... Hey, let's go, to, let's go to CERN. <laughs> I don't mean, like, send someone into a black hole. I mean, like, send a thing to a black Can hole. Can we just and... um, use your um, great big massive hadron collider and just put Judith in there for a wee minute, create a black hole and just see what happens? But would the black hole be like, is a black hole basically like a space sinkhole? Yeah, I think so. Where things just kind of disappear? I used to know all this stuff, but now I don't. I'm just sort of guessing. Oh, okay. Saying yeah. it with confidence. Um, But yeah, we were talking about dinosaurs, right? Yes. I wish we knew the anniversaries for dinosaurs' deaths, because we could just, it could be like... Stegosaurus Day? Yeah, but like the, the date that all the dinosaurs got wiped out. Oh, right. Like, it could be, like, March 15th or something, and we could just be going past it, and we could just I say like, we I say we pick a date. What date do we want? Today. February 28th. No, February um, February 29th, and then just celebrate it every leap year. Would you want February 28th? Because there doesn't seem to be any, like, okay. fantastic holidays. February, or the 27th. February 27th. Okay. Um, celebrate the death of dinosaurs. Um, by roaring, like just make a dinosaur roar, even if it's just by yourself. But if you do it, please send us a wee tweet of just you going roar. by roaring. Uh, location, just like Earth, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just what's your dinosaur noise? Roar. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of a random fact. I don't know if I want to say it on the podcast, but <laughs> I feel like I have to now. But is it not the noises of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park? <laughs> you can have to Google this to make sure it's right. <laughs> Was it not like an amplified version of turtles doing the thing? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I like to think that dinosaurs didn't roar. I like to think they were just like, Dave. <laughs> just really deep voices. But imagine they had really like ridiculously high-pitched voices, just like, Hey guys! Dave! I'm a Stegosaurus! How's it going? <laughs> no, but I'm thinking, like, just they didn't speak. They just maybe said the word Dave, and that was their... <laughs> <laughs> just in varying pitches and stuff. <laughs> like, cats say meow or whatever. It's just like, Dave! Dave! Dave. Imagine they did speak, like they just spoke like us, but they spoke breathing in. Steve! Hi guys! I'm a dinosaur. I'm a Stegosaurus. But maybe they weren't called Stegosauruses back then. My name is Thompson. <laughs> so maybe they had different clans, so it was like yeah. the Thompson clan and whatever. Hi. <laughs> we should do a whole podcast like this. Okay. It's like, it kind of sounds like, what is it, Microsoft Sam? Yeah. <laughs> and whatever you call the other ones. Um, let's see, right, so there's other ones that I had. Um, it was about horses, and I thought about this one last night because one of the girls in our team does horse riding. And I was just thinking about the time I went horse riding, I was real gassy. <laughs> <laughs> and horses must be the most farted on animals in the world. <laughs> Um, brushing your teeth is the only time you clean your skeleton. I read that on something as well, and that kind of blew my mind. I was like, "That's part of my, that's my bones." That don't like thinking about that. It just it's weird. I don't like my teeth touching each other. Like I mean, obviously they touch each other like going round, but like my top teeth and my bottom teeth, I don't like them. Oh, even I just think thinking we'll about putting them together is like. Ah. Yeah, like one of the kids we babysit likes to like gnash her teeth together. Yeah, like just, like just going, oh, I can't even. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, no, your poor teeth, please stop. <laughs> but like your teeth should te should technically be strong enough to withstand that. I know, but oh. Yeah. 
Um, the other one is something that I, I overheard the other day and they just sort of put it together. But like people say they're not superstitious. But then at the same time, there's always a thing that they do that is superstitious. If that makes sense, whether it be like knocking on woods or like not wanting to break a mirror or not walking under a ladder. I mean, you could say that walking under a ladder, ladder and breaking a mirror is sort of more health and safety. Yeah. But still, I mean, than... like, you know what I mean? Like, people still sort of be like, fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, right enough. But, like, I think that's just sort of a thing people say. Like, I you, it's, it's still like. No one actually crosses their fingers to wish people good luck or. You sort of do it as an action instead of sort of saying, like, good luck. <laughs> True. Um, I like these random thoughts, they're good. Right, okay, I think we've discussed this before on the podcast, but clapping, you're always clapping, there's just a really big long pause. But also, clapping is just hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I am amused, I'm going to hit myself. <laughs> well done, let me slap myself and appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, and my final one is that um, the Olympics should have, like, a for fun section at the end. Right, so like, what sprinters get to try like javelins, yeah, and stuff just for the crack. But like, it's all like it's only the people that are in the Olympics that get to do it, but they get to try out like. So like, a sports. sprinter could be like, "I'm gonna try a marathon." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or they could be like, "You know what? I'm gonna try an Olympic dive." <laughs> or like one of those big fancy off the diving yeah. board things. Who oh, flip? Can you not like easily break your neck doing that. Pretty sure you can. Yeah, like you're pretty high. That's terrifying. But I'd also love to try it. But there's a way. I think it was Dick and Dom or someone did it, and they but they were just like jumping off. They weren't trying to do backflips and stuff, but yeah. they were jumping off. But they had to put like bubbles in the pool or something, not bubbles like actual bubbles, but like a jacuzzi kind yeah. of like putting air and creating waves yeah, cause or whatever because that water. breaks the water surface so they they won't hurt themselves. But you just have to keep your head looking forward because whenever you put your head down, then that makes you lean forward. If that makes sense, yeah, because your head's like a pretty heavy bit of your body. I kind of think about it and I'm like, that's terrifying. And then I'm like, mm, jumped off cliff. <laughs> but like, yeah. How high is the like Olympic ten meters ten, or something? Ten? Yeah. That's really high. How far down in the water? Like, the diving pools are normally like six meters deep, aren't they? They're quite deep, yeah. Yeah. That's mad. I really want to try diving. Off a ten meter, whatever the top diving board is. Um, safely, like I'm not just gonna go to a pool and just jump off it, like. But <laughs> imagine, like, oh, what you could do? You probably break your bum. That's what I was gonna say. Break your tailbone. <laughs> you say tailbone, I say bum. Whatever. Just being hauled out of the water, just like worth it. <laughs> that would probably be me. Even if it wasn't, I would just be like, it was definitely worth it, guys. I'm just crying all the way to the hospital. I'm glad we have the NHS. I mean, it's one of those things that you would like knock yourself out with the pain. Or would you be conscious the entire time? I don't know. I don't know. How how bad does pain have to be before you get knocked un unconscious? I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't, I don't want. I don't, for, I don't want to find out. Yeah, I suppose it's different for different people. Different pain yeah. thresholds. I know that if you're skydiving your parachute doesn't open generally, you're unconscious by the time you hit the ground because of the speed of air. The G forces. Yeah. Pronounce G forces. I know. But G is like a G sound. So you pronounce it G. I had a dream, right? And it was there was kids and we were teaching them how to spell and I was like, um, how do you spell cat? Cat spelt C A T, isn't it? And they were going, No, what are you on about? And I was like, No, cat is definitely C A T. That's that's definitely how you spell cat. So it's one of those dreams whenever it's like almost like the Mandela effect and like they're like, No, cat is D O G. No, no, no. They were like, cat is spelled ca at And I was like, yeah, that's what I said. I said C-A-T. And they were like, no, it's ca at they were like, spelling it phonetically. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. C-A-T. That's what primary ones are like. But but do they not learn the actual names of the letters? Not, they, they learn the actual names of the letters, but like as far as spelling goes, it's like f a er e m a n Fireman. Fireman. Fireman! So <laughs> fireman! That's... But then, what would my... Like... 
does that not get really confusing then? Because sometimes, like, say, night, kitten, uh, get hit. But generally, by the time they're learning that, there's the P three, P four anyway. So they're learning, they're not, they're moving out of like phonics. True. But that would be so confusing. Imagine eating them night, just like wait till I blow your minds. Here's the fork. <laughs> Sorry, that was a knife, not a night, but. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I was like, bro. I was like, a primary one would not be learning how to play, spell princess. So, per uh, k- k- s- s- prankus. <laughs> I am a prankus, my. <laughs> oh yeah, Julia. Well, I'm a pranks. A pranks. Oh, okay, prince. Yes, got it. I got there. I'm trying to say knight. Knucket. <laughs> knucket. I'm a knucket. <laughs> Look at me and my sword. <laughs> sword. Too good. <laughs> well, you really pronounce it sword. Sword. Oh, yeah, because word. Sword. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like it. Like it. Like it. Sounds like you're having a stroke. Belev. Belev. I mean, not to be racist, but you kind of sound African. Not to be racist, <laughs> but <laughs> fine, so guys. If you don't, I'm just gonna I'm gonna post um along with this podcast. I'm gonna post a ten minute video of vines and hopefully could, the references. I could literally watch vine compilations for hours. When was it? It was a couple of weeks ago, and we sat in the dark <laughs> in the sitting room. And watched a video on Facebook of like best vines, and we didn't realize how long it was until it finished. I was like, that was twenty five minutes. <laughs> it was twenty five minutes just spent watching vines. I'm just gonna search up a vine compilation now too. Oh, there's some good ones out there. Here's one vines I quote every day. That one I'll do. But yeah, um, next week we're going to London for. Four days instead of two. I'm exhausted just thinking about I it. <laughs> like, I th- I, I'll be sad whenever this thing's over, this like acting course, but also I'll be happy because I don't have to think about worrying about do I have my passport, do I have money, do I have, do I know where I'm going? Am I going to be there on time? Am I going to be late? Like, London's cool, and like, I suppose it would be alright if I was getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> but. I guess by the fact that I'm not, I'm just getting knowledge out of it. <laughs> Which I, mean, I suppose I should be grateful for. <laughs> Good knowledge. Um, but yeah, I'll be happy when it's when it's over and I can just sort of not have to worry about, is it this weekend I'm going to London? Is it next weekend? Um, but yeah, London. Um, it should be good. We're going to see a show. So. And we don't have to pay for tickets. So that's, that's good. I think that's nearly us done. Oh, 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 we're doing good in karate. I would just like to say that. Karate is good. Even though sometimes I'm like, it can't be ours to go. Judith, always go to karate if you're listening to this. Always do it. I think everybody should try a martial art of some kind. Yeah. Like, it's, like, we were chatting about it last night and there was girls there and they were sort of like, oh, I'm just really afraid because it's just all guys there. And it's kind of like, no, just go because, like, if you're worried about getting hit, guys are terrified of hitting you. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> like, the guys are like, oh, hit away me, I'm grand, hit away, hit away. And then whenever it comes to hitting you, you're like, no, hit away, just go for it. Like, And they still just sort of tap you. And I'm sort of like, are you really that weak? <laughs> I think the first time I got properly punished in the face by one of them, I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he punished me in the nose and I was like, <laughs> like, he stopped me, he was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, thank you for hitting me. <laughs> Let's continue now. <laughs> and that was it. And then after that, they were just kind of like, yeah, okay, you shouldn't take it. Hard lad. Like, you just, 
it's one of those things where you just almost have to like I think you only get the full experience whenever you properly dive in. Yeah, I mean, like, generally, whenever you're sparring and stuff, you're not meant to hit each other full force anyway. Yeah. So it's it's not that hard. Like, it's not that sore unless, you know, they've made a mistake or you've moved at the wrong time or something. But, like, even so, they generally refuse to hit you. They kind of, like, stop way too short and you're like, would you just punch me in the face? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like the <laughs> one time that you encourage people to punch you in the face. It's like whenever you're preparing for a competition or whatever, it's like in a competition you would not get a score for that. Just flip and hit me. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, try a martial art if you get the chance. Definitely. Try a sport. Just let f- March be the month where you try a new thing. A new sporty thing. Yeah. Whether it be like ping pong or fetch i mean tennis or (laughs) or summer fetch i mean cricket ultimate frisbee (gasps) i'll play ultimate frisbee you burped and it stinks (laughs) i'm sorry sorry. this is what makes my podcast just (laughs) oh your smell (laughs) my smell (laughs) you 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 smell was it a year ago we did our first podcast Oh no, a year ago, um, well nearly a year ago, we did a Snapchat of just us singing Skidder Marinky Dinky Dink. Oh, we were like, <laughs> we should totally make a podcast. So it was, the, the idea, was, the born idea was born a year ago. So we, <laughs> we were just singing Skidder Marinky Dinky Dink and we sounded drunk. We sounded brilliant. <laughs> Skidder Marinky Dink. Well, I'm going to see if I can find it on oh, Snapchat what, memories. What a good year. It was, we were really like hyper in the evenings like now we just i don't think it was hyper i think we were just like overtired (laughs) that's probably i'm nearly sure it was just we were overtired um you know what i want to watch christmas films again like it's 304 sleep still christmas and i'm just buzzing for christmas again and it makes me really sad that we still have to get through like spring and summer and autumn and it's just, You're just hyped for Christmas. I am hyped to the max. <laughs> I really like Christmas. I don't. I'm not all that fussed on summer. I mean, it's okay. It was good at school because you were on holidays and stuff. But I like Christmas. No, I. I mean, I like Christmas, but I also like like the warm summer days where you can just go for a walk. Skin to a drinky drink. Skin to a drinky drink. Sing along. I was getting the crowd going. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin to a drinky drink. Skin to a drinky drink. I love you. Oh, we put, we... I'm a great singer. I'm going to be on Barney. I'm going to be on the Tweeny. I was going to be on Barney and the twi- I had high hopes. <laughs> hopes. High hopes with my skin to be drinky dinky dink. <laughs> skin to be drinky dink. <laughs> it's such a good tune. How did I get so tongue tied trying to say skin a marinky dinky dink? I mean, skin to my drinky dinky dink. In... <laughs> How did one time you end up saying a bonus pony's pony <laughs> instead of a bonus podcast? <laughs> True. <laughs> That's still my favorite thing. Every time I say someone says like bonus, I'm like <laughs> bonus. Po- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst part about podcasts. I always complain about whenever people do podcasts and like they were just laughing at their own in jokes. It was awful. That's what we do. If you're laughing, if you're not understanding this, please go back and re-listen. Okay, there's not that many podcasts. Yeah, we want you to be involved, but we also don't want to ruin it for people who have listened to all the podcasts and like. When you look at me, yes, do I look like the kind of person? <laughs> Do you look like the kind of person that wears hats? Yes. Or that like would suit hats? Do you look at me and go, 
You should wear a hat. I mean, I don't look at people and just sort of go, that's a hat person. I mean, like... <laughs> I don't... Do you look at some people and just go, you're a jumper kind of guy? Or like, you're a checkered shirt I mean, I would, dude. I, yeah, I mean, I would look at people and sort of be like, you're not a suit guy. Yeah. Or like... But like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just walk down the road and be like, hat, hat, no hat. No, hat, no, hat. Yeah. hat. Some hat, but, but not beanie hat. Yeah, like in summer, you go right and you go, you definitely wear a scarf in winter. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the way they're walking. <laughs> yeah. No, I've started doing that. Look at your shoes. Definitely wears a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I walk around in winter and I'm like, socks with sandals, Ken person. I have seen people wearing sandals and socks with sandals. And it's kind of like, American. In, all right, yeah. <laughs> and I hate doing that, but socks. it's, yeah. But like, oh, uh, when was it? We had like it was like a mission thing, and the Americans had come over here, and they had like major sock tan because they wore, like socks, long socks with shorts and trainers. Uh, was it on the move or something? I think so. Yeah, but they had like like nearly all of them had a sock tan. I was kind of like, just wear ankle socks. Yeah, I don't get that. I mean, kids run around wearing like. Longish socks. Longish socks, but generally they're not like pulls straight out, but they sort of like slouchy around the ankles kind yeah. of thing. But I mean, yes, okay, right, it gives you more protection against the sun, but also, like, I mean, yeah, that wee ball at the side of your ankle, that's the worst to get something on. I know, but it was like halfway up the shin. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I do. understand if it protects behind the knee, but that would be a really long sock, you may as well just wear trousers, really. Yeah. But I don't know, that was just, that was just me, and I was just kind of like, why? I, don't, not, I, I can't say I noticed that. Because uh, it was it was like people in my group and then like the other groups that we teamed up with. And it was just sort of like, no, nah, like... Why? Why, bro? Like, just, I don't know, take your sock off or roll it <laughs> down? No, oh, do, do you ever do the thing... Only girls will know this, by the way, unless guys had to wear like really long socks. But <gasps> we you roll, roll it, down it down and make like a donut around your ankle. Yeah. And then whenever you took them off, you just continued rolling it down off your foot. Yeah. Oh, that was lethal. So cool. <laughs> Love doing that. I want to go put on rugby socks just so or I can Or else the primary school socks that had the holes in it. Yeah. And you used to like, well... I'm surprised the amount of time we spent outside. I'm surprised that we never got like... Flowers. Do we sock tan from those holy socks? Yeah. I mean, well, generally, whenever it was really warm, you just pushed them down. That is true. I was gonna say I'm surprised I didn't put pen through the holes as much yeah, as I did. Yeah, and like draw, yeah, like a wee tattoo. Right enough. I never even thought of doing that. It's one of those things. It's like whenever you're old enough to think I could, I could just ride that dog like a horse. You're too big to ride the dog like a horse. Yeah. Like you just never. Gotta tell my kids to do that. <laughs> Come on, jump go, on. Go ride the dog like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> go, go climb on the dog's back and ride. Yeah. Um. See your socks. Roll them. Roll them down your leg. <laughs> Am I wearing? Lo I'm not wearing long socks. I'm just wearing skinny jeans, so they feel tight. <laughs> no, I genuinely like, like. Do you ever get that where they cut into the back of your calves? And you're like, yeah, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna. Kind of, I suppose what I wore is just like, no, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I'm just wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I am fully clothed. Thank you. She is. She would not be allowed in my room. I don't even know why that matters. Like, we used to have a bath together. <laughs> we used to share a toilet. <laughs> that was when we were really small, okay, guys? We, were, we could both sit on the toilet and pee at the same time. It was real cute. It's like in The Simpsons when Bart and Lisa are on the photo, in the photo and it ends up on the front of the... The newspaper, the, or not the, the newspaper, the phone, phone book. Was, oh, they're like so us. cute. So cute. We were like... <laughs> like 15 minutes ago we were like I think that's it that's why it always is though we're like I think that's it and then just something random that's, happens um, and that's like the Irish goodbye I was reading a thing on BuzzFeed and it was talking about the Irish goodbye and how Irish people just leave without saying goodbye to anyone mates you, you have, have to do that you have no idea what, yeah if you try and say goodbye to everybody you'll be standing there for another two hours trying to get round and say goodbye to people alright oh, okay I have to go here now Uncle Andy oh wait wait till I tell you this story I need to tell you what I did last week alright oh, okay Right, I really need to go now, Auntie Mary. Bye, 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 Auntie Mary. Okay, you remember to say hello to Aunt Janine and Dor Dordre and um, Dorothy right. and like the, the the real Irish goodbye. If if you don't sneak, manage to sneak out, is that the owner of the household stands at the front door with their hand on the handle, 
for a good 20 minutes still talking to you. You put your coat on. And you then take after your 20 coat minutes, off. you take it off again. You uh, sit that back down again. You I, get offered another cup of tea and you refuse it politely, saying, no, we're, we're, re- we're ready to go. And then you, you get and up the, and you put your coat back on and then they take you to the door and the door opens. You stand in the open doorway for about half an hour, uh, still chatting. At the stage the kids are bored, they're already away playing something, <laughs> another game. And then you shout, right kids, go on into the car. And then you sit in the car with the window rolled down, chatting out the car window for another 20 minutes. And then, I mean, honestly, you're praying for a wet night. <laughs> I have a wet night to get away. <laughs> oh, dear. Like, generally, you're standing up and sitting down about four different times before you manage to get to the front door. Yeah. Um, I mean, you'd think that like, mobiles and stuff would change that, but it doesn't. No. It's just the same. Like, it, it, in fact, it's even worse, because it's, what do you see who I found on Facebook the other day? What do you see who I found? Where do you see? Where do you see? Oh, it's gone. You'll never catch It's gone. It. Judith, Judith, would you come over here? Right. Do you remember I showed you the photo of Martha the other night? How do I get it up again? Mama, you're not connected to Wi-Fi. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I won't be able to get it up. Do you want my Wi-Fi? I see. That would be great. What, do you know the, do you know the code? Um, Adam, what's the, what's the Wi-Fi code? And it's just sort of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see it, guys, but Chloe was turning her head different ways for different characters. Maybe you could pick it up. Maybe, yeah. But... Anyway, I also tried to change my voice. Just really, to... must be getting on now here. So I oh, don't say that because that means it's just, that almost sets you up for another five minutes of talking. <laughs> like we don't want to be keeping you, sir. <laughs> oh, sure, it's no bother. <laughs> no, really, like we don't want to be a, a a bother to you. It's all right. Well, we we have to go now anyway. So um, like honestly, like sometimes our family prepares an excuse in advance. <laughs> Oh, we have to go home and feed the dogs. Bye. <laughs> like, but everybody gets in on it. It's like, mommy, we're only staying for ten minutes, right? Because I have to get back home and phone someone, or I'm expecting a phone call, and I left my phone at the house, right? And it's like, yeah, that's fine. And like, generally, it's sort of like we say ten minutes, but we push it to twenty. But whenever we get in, it's like, oh, we can't stay long because Chloe has to be home for this time to get a phone call. And then we sort of a ten minute mark. I sort of go, mommy, would we not need to go? And then mommy will be like, just a wee minute, okay? Mommy doesn't sound like that. She doesn't, but I mean, it's just to make it more obvious that I'm a different person. <laughs> and, I burped again and I don't want to breathe on you. And then it's like 15 minutes go past and it's, mommy, I think we would need to go. That's like me on the, that time that I thought we were going to be late on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> we told that story. Yeah. Mommy, would we need to be getting up now? It's like three o'clock in the morning. Okay. Mommy. What do we need to be at? No, it's, it's <laughs> half four in the morning. Oh, bless my wee socks. I was just worried about getting to the airport. <laughs> I don't even think I cared. I was like, everyone else will wake me up. I'll be okay. <laughs> I was just that buzzing. I was like, airplane. Airplanes are class. Well, they used to be. Now I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah. Airplane. So it's never younger. See, this, it's happened. It's flying metal death It's death happened. Trap. What? You were like, anyway, we must be getting on. And we're talking about something else. We have closed the door. We've taken our coats off and we've sat back down. <laughs> we very much have sat back down in the, in the figurative sofa. Do you know, how do we get up? I would not like tea, thank you. <laughs> Do you have any of those nice biscuits from earlier? No, no. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't mind taking a biscuit for the road. No, we we have to go. Sorry. Anyway, right, Deirdre. Right, must be on. Right. Flying metal death traps. So they are airplanes. That just went right back there. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, we really must go. It's, um, thank you very much for listening. Um, Please contact us on skit underscore twins on Twitter and Instagram. I nearly said your thing, but I'm not going to. Skit underscore twins, if you want. Uh, um, you can also find us on YouTube. Um, like, rate, review, share this podcast. Please share this podcast with your friends because uh, the more the merrier. And um, we love doing it. Like, yeah, it's a good crack. We just ramble. Um, and I mean, hopefully you like our ramblings. Hopefully yeah. you understand them. There's still. 
people listening. So yeah. cheers for that. Uh, if you got this far, if you got this far in the podcast, please um, tweet or comment or whatever the word. Skin a rinky dinky dink. Yeah. Or skin to drinky dinky dink. Yep. Skin to ring. Skin to rinky. Skin to skin to Skin to skin skin to skin to skin to rinky dinky skin to drinky do. Yeah. Skin to rinky do. Skin to rinky dinky dink. Skin to rinky do. Here we go. I nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh, tweet us or message or. Email us. We have an email address to skit.twins at gmail.com. It's Gmail, so that's like less letters to type into. Yeah. So. Anyway, uh, take care, be good. Make good choices. Uh, if you can be anything, be kind. Go well. Bye. 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 bye.